It's worth getting out of the bed every day. It's worth pushing. It's worth staying in worship. Hallelujah. On your way to your seat, just look at three people and tell them I'm expecting great things. And I'm a fight to get it. I'm expecting great things. And I'm a fight to get it. I'm expecting great things. And I'm a fight to get it. I'll let nothing separate me from what God is going to do in my life. Clap your hands again and fight like it's yours. Clap your hands again and fight like it is. Wow. Amen. I want you to get your Bibles. I want you to go to 2 Kings, the fifth chapter. And someone asked me one time, why do you always have people saying stuff while you preach? Why do you always have the audience to speak? Because I believe that the power of life and death is in your tongue. And certain things that you speak set things into action. You have not because you ask not. Your voice will force some things to happen. He told the prophet, you stand, you open your mouth, and you prophesy to the dry bones. And as we say to you at the top of the year, open your mouth and decree and declare that this is going to be my year of the unexpected. He's going to blow my mind. He's going to exceed my expectation. And I'm open to how he wants to do it. So this is your year of the unexpected. Oh my God. So now we must get revelation. When God speaks a thing, then it is up to you to seek the revelation of a thing. And I say to you, all of your answers are in the Word of God. Many of you all are running around looking for somebody to give you a word, and He's already spoken it. It is up to you to dive into the Scriptures to get the revelation of what God has already spoken to you. I say to you as a shepherd, as a man of God of this house, and as a gatekeeper of this city, that I heard the Lord loud and clear say, 2022 would be the year of the unexpected. I don't know about you, but it's a good time to be you. Nobody's expecting you to get up, but you're about to rise to some levels that you've never. Now, this is the question because we can expect some great things to come from you. But the question is, what are your expectations? What, what are your expectations for 2022? If you have no expectations, you are dead man walking. You have no reason to get up, but you should have something out there that you wait on God to do for you. Now, what does mean? Now, once you tell me what your expectations there are, then the question is, what are your plans to get what you're expecting? The only thing I want to do today, we're going to do today, is we're going to challenge you. We're going to challenge you. Watch me. Hold on to your expectations, but be open to the unexpected or how you're going to get what you're expecting. Let's go there again. Hold on to your expectation, but I'm going to need you to be open to the unexpected on how God's going to do it. Now, let's back that thing up in Scripture. In 2 Kings, the fifth chapter, we are introduced to a man by the name of Naaman. On the count of three, everyone just release your name. My name is. Say one, two, three. My name is. Come on, say it. My name is. Okay, we're introduced to a person by the name of Naaman. His name means three things, pleasant, agreeable, delightful. 
But watch me. But Naaman has great expectations. But his how is his problem. I expect one thing, but how I'm expecting this to come to pass can be my problem because I'm not flexible. I'm not open. His how, the unexpected, is his problem. You got to get this. So let's build up his resume because many of us, when we look at our background, we feel as if we're owed some stuff. I need you to hear me. In five and one, we're introduced to him. Now, Naaman was, number one, he was a commander of the army of the king of Aram. Number two, he was a great man in the sight of his master. Number three, he was highly regarded. Why? Because through him, the Lord had given him victory to Aram. Number four, he was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. You got all of this going on, but I'm married. I got a good job. I got money, but. Uh, watch me, watch me, watch me. I'm anointed. I'm called to preach, but. Everything is in line, but. What is it about God that he leaves you with something to seek him for? Everything is good. Now watch me. This is good. Look at me. Many of us have said, my life would be perfect, but I got this one thing. It reminds me of Paul when he said, um, that was given to me a thorn in my flesh. Everything was good. And I asked the Lord, if you just take this one thing away. And I sought him and he didn't take it. He said, watch me, I'm going to leave it there, number one, to keep you humble. Number two, to let you know that my grace is sufficient. Number three, to let you know that my strength is going to be made perfect in your butt. And I came to let some of y'all thank God that you're a commander. Thank God that you're great. Thank God that you're highly regarded. Thank God that you're a good soldier. Watch me. Your good outweigh your bad. And sometimes we focus on the butt without thanking God for what he's already done. Can you do me a favor? I'm going to put the butt right there, but I just want to thank God for everything else because I never want the enemy to think that I'm going to let that stop me from giving God glory for everything else that he has done. Can you do me a favor in the building in the, and online? Can you lift your hands and thank God? Leave that over there, but open your mouth and thank God for what he's already done, how he's already proven himself. Can you thank God for your progress? Can you thank God that you're not who you used to be? Can you thank God? I might not be perfect, but I know one thing, I'm not who I used to be. Can you not focus on what you're not doing? Can you thank God for what you've already done? Can you not focus how you failed in 2019? Can you thank God that you're sitting in the land of the living in 2022 and he's going to give you another chance to fix And it takes a mature person to admit my butt. It takes a mature person. I can't deny that I'm a leper because it comes out in different ways. When you're a leper, it comes out, number one, in your appearance. Some people, you can't hide what you're going through. We could look at you and see that everything ain't good. I don't care if you dressed up in all name brands, it seeps out of your pores. Come on here, come on here. And everybody else looking at you say, you should be happy, but you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm facing. So the number one way that you know you're a leper is by your appearance. The second way that we know you're a leper is by your crowd, your community, because the lepers had to hang out together. And sometimes we can tell who you are by who you hang with. Come on here, because negativity draws negativity. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. Pity draws pity. And some of y'all, people keep finding you because they are leper like you a leper. But I don't know about you, but I need, to be, I need you to begin to declare, my circle is about to change. So number one, we can tell you a leper by your appearance. Number two, we can tell you a leper by your community. Number three, we can tell you a leper by your confession, by the way you talk. 
Because anytime somebody runs to you, you have to cry out, unclean, unclean. And some of y'all, your communication has been letting us know that things ain't good for you. Y'all ain't got to say that to me. It flips out of your mouth so fast. How you doing? I'm going through. You just pitiful. You keep prophesying damnation and death. You keep speaking negative words, but I can't just, I'm going to tell you this. He's about to change your confession in 2022. What you confess in 21 would not be your confession in 20. I was broke in 21, but I'm good in 22. I I was down in 21, but I'm all high in 22. I was going through in 21, but I came out. I need you to make sure you're around some positive people. Tell them what was is not anymore. Can you say that? What was is not anymore. That is not my testimony in 2022. I believe, watch me, it is my path. Okay, let's stop. So how does it change? How does it change? How does it change? By paying attention. Hold on to your expectations but be open to the unexpected. I'm gonna say that again. Hold on, do not let go of the expectation. I believe that regardless of him being a leper, he kept saying, I'm not dying like this. I'm not going out like this. I believe that there's still more for me to do. Come on here. I don't care how long I've had it, it's not my permanent destination. Now that's some fake stuff right there. And some of y'all, what you've been, what you've been, what you've been declaring privately, he's about to do it for you publicly. You've been seeing it. You didn't want nobody to hear you, but the Lord told me to tell you, he's heard every word that has came out of your mouth and it's about to catch up to you. So one day, his wife's servant tells his wife, I believe that if my master would just make it to the men of God, he will be healed. I believe if my master would just make it to the men of God, he would be healed. And the wife went and told the husband, my servant told me that if you could just get to the men of God, you would be healed. And I believe that something clicked in Naaman. And I, I, want, I want God to let one conversation make something click in you that redirect your steps. Y'all ain't got to. One referral can change your whole life. Ooh! Can you open your mouth and say, one referral, one mention of my name, one, 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 one direction going to change my whole life. So a slave girl mentions it and something clicked. And when it clicked, he goes to the king and gets a letter. He gets permission to go see the king. He packs up his horses and his chariots and he's headed in the direction. Here we go. Come on, clean. Come, come on, lean in. He's headed in the direction to make it happen. Everybody hear me. On January the 2nd, he's about to point you in the direction to make it happen. God, I need help to preach this thing today. I said, I am, hear ye, hear read the word of the Lord. I am about to point you in the direction that's about to change the course of your life. So he packs up everything, gets everything ready. And he's going where he didn't expect to go. But while he's going, here we go, look at me. He starts thinking, Lily. In his mind, he starts planning how it's going to happen. I got my expectation, but with my expectation, I also have a way that I'm expecting him to do it. 
I'm expecting him to do it the way that I think he going to do it so that I can get my expectation. It's all up here. All up here. I've played it out in my mind how it's going to happen. I played that thing out in my mind how it's going to happen. What do you do when you play it out in your mind but it don't go the way that you played it? I'm going to come over here. What do you do when you play? I'm going to get married, and then in two years, I'm going to have kids, and then in three years, I'm going to own my business, and then in the fourth year, I'm going to own my house. What do you do when you play it out all in your mind, but his will don't go with your mind? <laughs> come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, we out here now. We out here now. Come on here, watch it. And he gets to do it. Well, how do you know he didn't get it the way he thought it? I'm going to answer you. Look at the screen. It didn't happen the way he expected. Hold on to the expectation, but be open to the unexpected. But Naaman went away angry. And some of y'all, you are mad because it's not going the way that you thought. Everybody that's in the building, if you are on Instagram, if you're on Facebook, I need you to unplug. Because the word that's being released today is the word that's supposed to change your life. And I cannot have you distracted by what's coming. I, I say to you, as a man of God, as a shepherd, as a prophet of the house, unplug from the internet and prepare for your unexpected. Mm-hmm. Now, if you choose to be disobedient and continue to go through your inboxes to get your messages, I pray that what you're supposed to get skip over you. And I pray that it go to somebody who's not even expecting it. And I pray that they get double, no triple, for what they wasn't even expecting because you didn't want what God had for you. I'm not playing with y'all. It's too important. Too much is at stake for you to be sitting up here. Okay. <laughs> so, Naaman... Went away angry, and if you don't do what I say, you're going to be mad too. Watch his words. I thought, I thought, I played it in my mind, and I thought he would come out to me, stand next to me, call on the name of his God, wave his hand over me, and cure me of my leprosy and that is what I thought the whole time I was riding here I was planted in my mind see what he gonna do he gonna come out to me see what he gonna do he gonna stand right next to me see what he gonna do he gonna call on his God so I could hear him right next to me and then he gonna wave his hand over me and I gonna be cured I played it out all in my mind but the way I played it ain't the way he doing it and since he ain't doing it the way that I thought that he gonna do it, I will live in anger and frustration. So right now, I just want to rebuke the spirit of anger. Because if I can get anger, watch me, he can't, he can't anoint anger because you're going to be an anointed angry person. He can't bless anger because you'll get blessed, but you'll be too angry to receive your blessing. So let's get anger from around you. And I speak happiness. I speak joy. I speak peace. I speak that you're going to be open. I decree and I declare that this is going to be one of the best years of your life. I decree and I declare you're going to wake up with joy bells ringing down in your soul. I decree and I declare what used to upset you is not going to upset you anymore. I thought I thought he, he would come out. I thought he would stand next to me. I thought he would call on the name as God. I thought he would wave his hand over me and I thought he would cure me. Well, he doing a lot. What are you doing? 
You putting a lot on him, but you only going to tell me, well, at least I showed up. That's like some of y'all, at least I got up this morning and showered and I got dressed and I got grilled through the snow. And now you're going to come here and fold your little arms and cross your little leg and act like somebody owe you something. The devil is a liar. You should thank God that you made it safely. Now your next request is, what else do you want out of me? We have a problem, look at me, that we put too much of our expectation on people. And then when they don't give us what we looking for, we leave them angry. I got my expectation, but it's not coming the way that I expected it. And since it's not coming the way that I expected it, I'm mad. And another servant ran up on him because you're going back home full of leprosy. Had he asked you to do something great? Had he asked you to do what you weren't expecting? Had he told you to do what you were expecting? What you got to lose? Lean in. What you got to lose? Put it all out there. If I were you, I would go for broke at the top of the year. If I were you, I might have shouted in, in 2021, if I were you, I'll make myself dan dance and go crazy at the top of the year, thinking that that would rush down through the rest of the year. At least I can say I started out strong. Is I can't do this thing the way I want to do it. Lord, I help me here today. I need you to make sure you sit next to somebody who are open to however God want to do it this year. He didn't do it the way I wanted him to do it in 21. So I might as well be open in 2022. Those of you that are open, can you do me a favor? Can you close your right hand tight? That is your expectation. But lift your left hand open, which means that, God, I am open to however you want to give me what's in my right hand. Lift your hands and open your mouth and worship God for what's coming to your right hand. <sighs> wow. Hey, Dabasha. Do me a favor. That one hand that you got closed, I need you to fist bump somebody and say, It shall come to pass. Woo! So I got a. I got an expectation. You got an expectation. We're about to have a blow up. I got something I'm believing God for. You got something you believe in God for. Oh God. If you sit next to somebody that don't have a closed fist, you better move your seat. Because I only want to be around those who are expecting miracle signs and wonders. Find you another closed fist and fist bump and say, I believe God for you and you believe God for me. And it shall. And it shall. Listen, it shall. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. As a matter of fact, it's gonna be bigger than what you hold it. Your hand ain't big enough to hold what God is about to do for you. Eyes haven't seen. Oh, it's worth fighting for. I'm still here. I'm still here. I got it. What you doing? Holding on. Ready? You have to get it ready. You ready? Have a seat. Have a seat. Ready? 
So you're telling me at the top of the year, expect something. No, expectation is good. Expectation is great. Because expectation means that you don't settle. Expectation means that you have not settled. So expectation is amazing. The problem is, I'm gonna need you to loosen your grip on how it's gonna happen. For control freaks, this is very difficult. Cause you thought, have you not, have you gotten to the age that you realize that what you thought is not gonna be your reality? Have you gotten to that age yet? Cause God will wait on you to grow up before he be like, okay, I'm waiting on you to grow up and mature to the point that I'm God, you not. Is there anybody besides me that it didn't work the way? I, I wish I could jump off this stage and just hit some of y'all in the head. I just want to hit somebody because you're sitting there like, because you're angry. You angry, your vein is popping in. Just open your hand. If you open your hand, you, the, the blood will begin to flow. You'll be all good. And your 2022 not gonna be as tight. This is how you was all last year. <sighs> so hold on to the expectation. But leave the door open. <laughs> leave this door open. <laughs> leave this door open. And when you leave that door open, it's three things that I want you to look for that door open. Who, where, and how. You're not going to control the who. You're not going to control the where. And the hardest lesson for you to learn, you are not going to run the how. Ooh-wee. Some of y'all didn't tighten your hand right back up. <laughs> Untighten your hand. You're not going to control the who. You're not going to control the where. And the hardest lesson, God, I pray that he gives us your spirit of paying attention. That you... You not going to run it. Planning is good, but when you get done, you better give it to God. Because how he going to do this is going to be mind-blowing. And I promise you, how he going to do it, you ain't even expecting it. So why don't you at the top of the year erase your mind? Free yourself. Lay hands on your own head. Clear it up, God. Get 2019 and 2020 and 21 out of... Okay. All right, let's go. So, let's, let's go. Who coming through this door? <laughs> Who is God going to send through the door to give you what you expected? Hold on to this now. Hold on to this. But who is he going to send through this door to give you what you expected? I promise you, it's not who you think. Come on, let's go. So what, what, did, what did name it think? Look at, look at the screen, in 11 and B. I thought, he, who was he? Elisha, was surely, that surely messed me up. I thought that he would surely come out, why? Because I'm a commander. Why? Why did she surely think that? Because God is on my side. <laughs> Why did you think that? Because I'm a warrior. Why did you think that? Because I'm almost his equal. And based upon my resume, surely he's heard of me and he wants to see me. Oh, he's about to break your surely. Who you expecting to come out this door ain't coming. So the best thing, watch me, the best thing to do is to release who didn't show up. 
Because if you release who didn't show up, then you can look to the door for who going to show up. You cannot receive who God is sending you until you free who disappointed you. I'm going to say that again. You cannot receive who God is sending you until you release who quit you, who let you down, who didn't give you what you thought you needed. You got to release your mama, your daddy, your kids. Who coming? This messed me up. You looking for the prophet to come through. And some of y'all, you looking for the apostle, the prophet. You looking for somebody who got a title to come through. But the Bible says he sent a messenger with a message. And this is the nobody. And some of y'all, you keep playing your messenger because they don't have the title or the look. They don't have the degree. They don't speak the way you think they should speak. But they the one that got the message for your crazy behind. Come on here. They not religious. Come on here. God could let a drunk talk to you on the corner. If he used a jackass, don't tell me he won't use a drunk. He'll use somebody that don't even know him to look at you and say, you don't belong up in here. A messenger. Look at me. Come on, camera. I got to come through this door because I'm your doggone messenger. Hey, I know you were looking for the bishop. I know you were looking for the president. I know you were looking for your government to deliver you. I know you were looking for your job to be your way out. I know you were looking for your boss to give you a promotion. But the Lord sent me to tell you the earth is his. And he's going to do it for you as long as you hold on to your expectation, but be open to who I'm going to send. Those of you that are ready for God to introduce you to some new people who not coming to stay in your life, but only coming to drop off a message. Y'all ain't hear what I just said to you. I'm not sending them for you to marry them. I'm not sending them for you to date them. I'm not sending you to follow them. I'm only sending them to deliver my message. If you're ready for your who, open that left hand, lift that right hand, close, and worship. Who? Free them. Free everybody that didn't give you what you wanted. Free everybody who disappointed you. Free everybody who didn't show up. Hey, PKs. Hey, PKs. Free the church. Free the church who you say took your parent. Free them. They don't owe you nothing. Because what God's going to give you, not going to come through that door. You ready? Free, free. Free the job that fired you. Free the witch that was your supervisor. And you know you smarter than them. I think you ought to let it go. Looks like a, another TKO. How do you go so spiritual and then just slide into the carnal? Because I got a minister to the carnal too. I'm that kind of messenger. <laughs> I think you ought to let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Look at somebody say, let them go. So you can see who's next. If you let your boyfriend go, you'll see your husband. If you let your side pieces go, you'll see your praying wife. Because if you don't let them go, you're going to expect your husband to be like your boyfriend. 
and I'm not going to mix the two. Listen. Look at the door and blew off the hinges now. Okay. All right. Lift your hands and say, I'm open to whoever. Come on, bro. Take me back to my other door. Yeah, y'all ain't shouting today. Ready? So we've already set up the who. I need you to open the door to where it's going to happen. He's going to change your zip code. Some of y'all should have went into a praise right there. Some of y'all, he's going to change the location of your occupation. Some of y'all should have went into a praise because you've been sitting at the county waiting on the county to bring you out and the Lord say, I, your blessing is not locked up and they got good benefits, but you're looking at benefits when I'm looking at blessings. Where? Where? This word is too much for me today. This is too much. Hey, Erica, where, where does God want me to give me what I'm expecting. Where do I have to be to get it? Because location is important. Heaven's GPS, you have to be right where the package is supposed to be delivered. If you're not there, return to sender. Or somebody will sign your name and get what you're supposed to have. So where did he think? You got to get, have a seat. You're going to get this today. Sit down. Where did he think, where did he think he was supposed to be? This messed me up. This thing messed me up. Where did he think? I thought, he says, so Naaman went with his horses and his chariots and parked it at the door of Elisha's house. I parked my car. You heard them horses? You heard them chariots? Doggone it, I'm here. Everybody put it in park, cause it's about to go down. And some of y'all, you have been sitting in park for a long time, but ain't nothing changed. Because you are determined, oh, it, it gotta happen here. It has to happen. Who told you it has to happen there? You told yourself because I thought. So you keep sitting on the I thought when I, hear, when I keep hearing go. Wow. So where he sends you is not where you thought. He says, here we go again. He park with his whole entourage. He got gold, he got silver, he is good. Only thing he doing he waiting like this. He took a selfie like this. In front of Elisha's house. How long you gonna hold that pose? Because I'm gonna make your blood stop circulating. So you can change your position. And Elisha sends a message and says what? Go. And I'm gonna need you to wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. Doggone it, I got to reprogram my GPS. And I took waves on how to get here too. And I avoided all the chariot jams. <laughs> but if you go where I tell you, your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed and you won't go back from this location the way you came. But it's important that you get where I'm telling you. How much time I got? Everybody listen, Let's, let me unpack this where. Because I had to go back and think about my life. When I graduated from college, I did not want my where to be Chicago. 
As a matter of fact, I sent all resumes to warm climates. I said, I'll be okay with no more snow. But now I love the winners. It's weird, right? Wait, wait, wait. So I said everything. So then my, my, I had graduation day, and nobody had responded. So I thought, let me just stay in Alabama. I got connections. I can make sure that I could get a job here because I have my own apartment, and I'm not used to going back living in my parents' house in that one bedroom. My mother looked at me like, boy, you done lost your mind. Bag this truck up. Come and get this stuff. We out of here. And sometimes you need somebody in your life that don't let you have what you want and put a demand on you and make you move when you don't even feel like moving. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. You got ready? So we get in the car, we pack everything up, and I have a Volkswagen, I have a Volkswagen, and I'm driving my little wagon back, and while I'm driving back, coming back to his wheel, the tire blows, and my car turned, and a truck is coming past me. And it looked like my car is about to go up under the truck, but he giveth his angels charge over you. That the angels literally took the wheel of the car and took it in another direction that I ended up on the side of the road. Which means that the devil was trying to stop me to get where I'm supposed to be and kill me in my in-between. And some of y'all, the devil has done everything he could to try to stop you from getting where God wants you to be. But I need you to give God a praise that it did not work. Those of you that have had some near-death experiences, those of you that almost lost your mind, I need you to open your mouth and worship God that you're going to be exactly where you're supposed to be. Come on, I feel a shift. What am I saying? Go and wash yourself. Seven times in the journey, flu time. Watch him. Are not Abna and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, which are closer and cleaner? which are closer and cleaner, which are closer and cleaner, which are close. So you're gonna, you're gonna make your own referrals when he's telling you where you're supposed to be? <laughs> are not Abna and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Couldn't I wash in them and be cleansed? So he turned and went off in a rage. Some of y'all are in a rage in the place that you're in because you're not where you're supposed to be. So you're the, ah! The least thing get on your nerve because you're not where you're supposed to be. Bring my dog up. Bring my dog up. It's only cracked. Watch me. You know those doors that when you show up, you don't even have to push it. Your presence demands an opening. If you back up from it, it won't go any further. But if you get closer to the door and even have one thing, you don't even need to touch it. All you have to do is just step into it and it's about to happen for you. Those of you, watch me, I know you got comfortable, I know you got settled, but what if I told you God has another place that he's about to blow your mind? Watch me, and some places are not to stay. It is a temporary situation just to get you what you're supposed to have so that you can go back and show everybody, not unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, but it cannot happen until you show up. Those of you that are ready for God to do it, watch me, watch me. If you are open to it, if you are open, why is God talking to me? Why is God talking to me? Wait, 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 wait. Let me show you where. Let me show you where. At Choco's church, I had this priest at one of the Spanish churches. At the Spanish church, I had to speak in English and then wait on the translator. I was getting frustrated. Come on and lift your hands. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. This delay reaction is getting on my nerve. I went and told Choco, bro, I'm not doing spending services no more. 
Let me do the English. You get somebody else to do Spanish. I'm good. I went home and the Lord said, you are stopping me from enlarging in your territory. I am getting you, I am doing practice on the north side to take you to the world, but I cannot send you to the world series unless you've had the few baseball games in the back of your yard. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that to me. And some of y'all, you have allowed your frustration to hinder your way. And the moment that I submitted, I got a call to preach in Panama. And I had to preach five times with a translator. And because I submitted, I had an on fire translator that every time I say, he even did my hand move. Come on and give him glory. Rosa Yandos, hiya! Every time I got ready to say something, I run up on him like this. What am I trying to say to you? The moment that you submit to your way, he has sent you who you supposed to be with so that you can execute. Everybody stand. Blow the doors off this mug. Give me the slide where the doors are blown off the hinges. Those of you that are ready for God to enlarge your territory, I need you. Hey, oh my God. I am so, I'm into something. Praise team, stay right there, don't move. If you submit to your now, you will be playing in places that you never thought you could play. If you submit to your now, you'll be sent for what all expenses paid. And I'm sending you, Jewel, to do what you do. I'm not going to ask you to do something that you don't know how to do. Your resume let me know that you could do it. But I need you to submit to your uncomfortable place. Because the, the Jordan is cold, and sometimes you're going to feel cold. The Jordan is muddy, and sometimes it's going to look like you're out of his will because you're, you're dipping in mess. I didn't sign up to come and dip. This is a messy situation. How does a clean person end up in a messy situation? How does a clean person end up in a messy situation? Not to say, I'm only taking you there that you could dip. Because the mud can even cover your illness. So is it possible that I sent you a place to cover your stuff? Lift your hands and say, I'm open to my who. If your hands and say, I'm open to my where. You're not going to believe what I just heard, even if it don't pay me what I want. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't say that part. I almost take it a little bit further. Lift your hands and say, I'm open to my who. Come on, say, I'm open to my where. Come on, follow me. Only if you're ready, even if I don't get paid. Because what you don't pay me now, he going to make sure I get it later. And I can't focus on my now payment because I'm storing up what he going to give me later in my... This ain't that kind of church. What kind of, what, what kind of church we in today? You ready? Ready? So all year I'm open to my who, all year I'm open to my where, and all year I'm open to my how. How? How you gonna do this? Because I thought he would come in and wave his hand over. When I read that scripture, I thought about us growing up, Erica. Uh, hey! Anybody know about... 
Anybody know about, mm, know about the sanctified jerk? Mm. Hey! Oh! Ooh. 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 And some of y'all, they did this years ago, and you keep waiting on the who. And you've had so many to who you, but ain't nothing changed. Ooh. Because there's a lot of who that ain't got no power. I've been under some who power, but I've been under some not power wooings. Ooh. 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 Why are you looking for that? Because that's how everybody else got, got it. And if they got it like that, I think, ooh. Ooh. I should, ooh. Ooh. This is how you know they, sancti they sanctified. Mm. If you don't do this, ooh, you ain't got no power. <laughs> Look at me. Don't say the Lord. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I'm going to make you go to this dirty, this muddy water. And ain't nobody waving. You looking for a wave when I'm looking for a dip. And you looking for somebody to wave their hands when I'm looking for you to dip. And I'm going to need you to dip not just one time and get it over with. But I'm going to need you to dip seven times. And if you do what I tell you to do, if you do what I tell you to do, let's see the how. Look at this, when he finally does it. So he went, uh, go to the next one. So he went down and dipped himself in the Jordan seven times. As the man of God told him. And his flesh, and I will restore unto you the years. His flesh was restored, and he became clean like that of a young boy. In other words, you'll never look like what you've been through. The only way they'll know what you had is if you tell them, but it won't happen without a dip. 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 That woman over there said, dip, baby, dip. I love my hood members. <laughs> Dip. So watch me. Why seven? And I'm, I'm, I'm about to get some of y'all right now. Not dip. Take a break. Come back. No, stay there and be consistent. Because you struggle with consistency. I'm going to need you to, I need you to be consistent in seven dips and watch me when you first dip nothing might change second dip nothing might change third dip nothing might change and some of y'all live your life that you give god three days three months or 30 minutes fourth dip nothing changes fifth dip nothing changes sixth dip nothing changes what if it only happened on the seventh dip but you stopped at six. And it don't make sense. What's me? How he tells you to do it don't make sense. I promise you, it don't make sense. Who would have ever thought that a darn staff would raise the Red Sea? Who would have ever thought that if we shout, walls gonna fall? <laughs> Who would have ever thought that a little boy carrying a bag with two fish and five bottles is going to feed 5,000. Who would have ever thought that a woman crawling said to herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be, who would have ever thought it? Nobody thought it, but God did it. He's not into your thoughts. He's not into your thoughts. You couldn't have told me. You couldn't have told me for a million years. I knew I was going to be a pastor. I'm at a church for 19 years. Put this dough back up.
Leave right there. I cracked that door and I just thought, after 19 years, whatever happened gonna happen to me over here. And after 19 years, he said, get thee out of thy father's house and go where I tell you to go. You gonna send me all the way to the north side? To a Puerto Rican church, me and my wife are the only blacks. I told God, you got to be crazy. They singing songs I ain't never heard. I'm used to traveling shoes, Lord, got on my traveling shoes. They, ain't, they don't even know a traveling shoe. What is that? You put me in this church, and he, he looked at me, who I expected to say it. I did not expect this Puerto Rican to say it, but he the one that looked at me and said, I see what's in you, I see what's on you. It don't scare me, it don't intimidate me. Let's plan it. It was not who I expected. Where? You couldn't have told me. I asked him, Eric, I said, how long do you think I'm gonna have to stay? He said, John, this might take a little while. We, we, we're, talking about maybe, we're talking about maybe four years. I said, the blood of Jesus. I'm 36, and I am not going to wait until I'm 40 to do what I know God called me to do. And some of y'all, you keep letting your age stop you from what God is trying to do through you. What if I told you that he's going to make you wait until you're mature enough to handle what he's about to give you? Because if I give it to you and you're immature, you'll only have it for a season. But if I give it to you and you're immature, you'll have it for the rest of your life. So now I want you to get in the, I want you to come here. I want you to preach to some men in a homeless shelter. I need you to sit down next to these men, John. I need you to preach to them for five minutes. I'm not used to preaching for five minutes. I need at least 30. You're not only gonna preach to them, John, but then I need you to feed them. And when you feed them, I need you now to go sit down and just have a casual conversation. Watch me, and they're not gonna smell the way that you think that they should smell. As a matter of fact, they're gonna stink. They're not gonna smell good, but I'm gonna need you to swallow up how they smell and deal what you wanna do. So I get, had a little trick. I would always spray my finger with cologne. And whenever I smelled them, I'd be like, you said what now? <laughs> You gotta know how to make yourself comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. I can't leave, I gotta deal with it, but just let me, now you say what now? <laughs> Some of y'all need to practice this. Cause where you going ain't gonna smell right. Where you going ain't gonna look right. Where you going you don't even fit in, but it's exactly where God wants you to be. And you gotta deal with this until you're ready for your doors to be blown off the hinges. I need a mic stand. Thank you. So, this is what I had to realize. Everybody stand. Bring the scripture up in Isaiah. Isaiah. Message Bible. I don't think the way you think. The way you work isn't the way I work. I'm declaring it. For as the sky soars high above the earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work. The way I think is so beyond the way you think. So free yourself. So how did I, how did I submit to it? Because I thought, and the way I thought, it wasn't going. So I had to, do things for my will to be broken. Can you give me some water? Can I get some water? Um, thank you. Um, my mouth is really dry. He's a liar, but this water gonna do it. Ready? So my grandmother taught it to me as a kid. Then when I went to college, Mother Davis taught me how to do this in her house. No organ, no band. And she told me, the more you say, yes, Lord, your will decrease and his will increase. She said, it's gonna take a while for your will to decrease because you have been operating in the way you think for quite some time. And this is a new introduction that has to be presented in your life. So you're gonna have to wait until your flesh, your mind, and your spirit is broken for you to receive what God has for you. So in my dormitory, me and some friends used to get together. Even when we would go to Mother David's house, we would be in the dormitory, and it's no, no music, just us. <laughs> yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. My will says yes. My way say yes. My mind say yes. Yay! Yay! Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Yes to who you want to introduce me to. Yes to where you want me to go. Yes to how you want to do it. I know it's tough, but everybody under the sound of my voice, can you, those of you that are at home, can you please follow my lead? Close your eyes, clap your hands, and shout as loud as you can. Yay! Put a yes in me. Break down the stubborn wall. Yay! Yay! I need you to give Erica a microphone. And sometimes you need somebody to say yes, Lord, with you. Yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, Erica, help me say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. I'll say yes, Lord. Yes, to your will and to your way. Everybody stand. I'll say yes. Everybody stand. Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit. When your spirit speaks to me. And with my whole heart I'll agree And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes For you sing, I need you to say yes like your grandfather taught you Just say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, come on Yes, yes, Lord Yes Yes. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 My soul. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Yes. My soul says yes. Everybody clap your hands and release the loudest yes you have. I mean it need to come out of your belly. I need you to go back to Terrian. I need you to go back to Friday night on the altar. Yes. 
Come on, you church babies. You know what to do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Come on, you church babies. Those of you that were raised. Come on, a few more minutes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. I got to get out of here. But the Lord told me to open the altar up. That there's a few of you that need an altar encounter. I'm way past my time. But I got to get a yes in your spirit. You're going to start the year out by telling God, yes. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. My will says yes. My way says yes. My mind say yes. My body say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My house says yes. My wife say yes. My circle say yes. This church say yes. Yes. We're open. We're open. Come on, y'all. We're open. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to your plan. Yes to who you want to do it. Yes to who you don't want to do it. Yeah. Every husband tell God yes. Every wife tell God yes. Every single person tell God yes. Every teenager tell God yes. Every young adult tell God yes. Yes to my gift. Yes to my skill. Yes in my business. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, faith. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, the way you want me. Yes, to what you want to do through me. Yes, to how you want to do it in me. Yes, to who you want to break for me. Yes, to who you want to bring close to me. Yes, to your will, Lord. Yes, to your will, Lord. My flesh say yes. My spirit say yes. My mind say yes. My body say yes. My will say yes. Yeah. Come on, I'm about to let you go back to your seat. But you just started the year off with an open hand to the Lord. Yeah. y'all one last shout and you can go back to your seat hey Angela Martin it's about to happen in our lives the doors are about to be blown off the hinges on the count of three release the loudest yes you have one two three
But can you leave your fists connected to their fists? And both of y'all open your mouth and say, yeah. 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 Come on, you young adults. Yeah. Come on. It ain't too late for you. He's going to do it in a way you didn't expect him to do it. Your blessings are about to catch up to you. Yeah. Hey, Messiah. Come on, we gotta go. Danita, let's say yes, Lord. Come on, Dr. Danita, say yes, Lord. Your yes always work. Your yes. Your yes open doors. Your yes close doors. Your yes bring people in. Your yes run people away. Yeah. Yeah. Come on on your way back to your seat. This from somebody again and say yeah. Come on, you church babies. Come on, those of you that were raised around the fire. There's a yes in you that shake hell. Yeah! A few minutes. Yeah. Come on, y'all. We gotta go, don't we? But lift your hands one more time. Out of your belly. Out of your soul of your inner man pull your head back and shout yeah We got to go. We way past our time. But something is breaking. Something is breaking. Something is shifting. Something is shifting. Who would have ever thought you would be here? Who would have ever thought that God would shift you? Who would have ever thought that you would be where God got you? And if I got you, I got your house. And if I got you, I got your house. And if I got you, I got your children. And if I have you, I have your grandchildren. And if I have you, I got your business. And if I have you, I got your plan. And if I have you, I got your dream. And if I have you, I got your focus. And if I have you, I got your purpose. Lift your hands and worship God for five seconds. I better stop. Hey, Masaya. Come on. Just give me a few seconds. Just give me a few seconds. Mm.
come on, we're going to worship with you. I need you to be a curse breaker. I need you to be a curse breaker. I need you to do what your family never did before. I need you to go further than anybody that you even know of. I give you responsibility to make it. Come on, just 10 more seconds. Open your mouths and worship. Musicians, can you just get up from your instrument? Put your instruments down. And lift your hands. Every singer, anybody in entertainment, lift your hands right here. Because he's about to put something fresh on you. <laughs> Open your mouths and worship God. I give you this band. I give them to you. They are not who I started with. They are where I am. And they belong to you. Now blow our mind. Exceed our expectation with what's going to come out of that corner. Everybody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say it again. Yes, Lord. Say it if you're at home. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Leave him there, leave him there, leave him there, leave him there, leave him there. No more disappointment. No more hearing the lies of the devil telling you that you failed. Your failure is a success. There are 10 in this building, there are 20 online. I came to get you because your wear just changed. Your location just changed. And if you know I'm talking to you, don't beg, don't make me beg you to get to your purpose. Get out of your seat and come right up here. Number one, you need to be saved. Number two, you're already saved. But you know that this is the house that God has called you to. On the second day of the year, there are 20 of you in the, that are online. You're going to see some information online. You make sure that you text the words New Life and my team will reach out to you. But there are 10 in this building. I know you here. Get out of your seat and start walking towards me right now. Move. Move. I see three coming. I see four coming. Get out of your seat and make the bowl for March this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are four more people that's supposed to be up here. There are four more people that's supposed to be up here. There are four more people that's supposed to be up here. There are four more people that's supposed there are three more people that's supposed to be up here. There are three more there's two more people that's supposed to be up here. There are two more people that's supposed to be up here. There are two more people that's supposed to be up here. There are two more people that's supposed to be up here. I need you to move quickly. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Everybody begin to release a praise. Come on, begin to release a praise. Come on, begin to release a praise. For the 20 that are online, I need you to read the prayer that I need you to text the words new life. And you'll see it on the screen and my team will call you and they'll make it happen. Those of you that are on, 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 on the altar right now, if you don't mind, can you do me a favor? I need you to turn this way and you're going to follow this gentleman right here. Everyone else have a seat for just five minutes and I'll have you out. I'm way past my time. Just give me five minutes.